Konnichiwa. Hello everyone, welcome. Today we're going to be looking at a uh, article from Matcha. It's a good website actually, it comes in a variety of languages. Importantly for us it's in Nihongo. But it also has Yasashi Nihongo, which is what this article is going to be written in. Just kind of easier Japanese, you can see it's also got some furigana on there. Now, reading articles like this are very good ways to revise vocab and all those kind of things. But it can be a bit tricky sometimes to read because of all the kanji. Now, like I said, this has got furigana, so it's not so much a problem in here. But I would really recommend you check out a browser extension called variously Rikai-chan or Rikai-kun. I'll uh, put the link to it in the um, YouTube description box as well as a link to this article. But I'll just turn it on now. All right, and so what it enables you to do is if you highlight a word, it's kind of, um, you know, it works out what the word is basically. All right, so here you can see it's it's highlighted. You know, I've only got my mouse on the the, the shi part, the kanji, and the the extension has worked out well. The word ends at that te, which is correct. It's the te form, and so you see in that little box that's popped up, it's got the kanji, so you can check that as correct. It's got the reading of it, which is shiru, and then you see in yellow there it says te, which is referencing the te form. All right, so it'll show you the conjugation that's happened as well, and it'll do it for this word as well, okitai. All right, and um, you know if you just only if you kind of put the mouse on other parts of the word, it'll try and guess. So this is kind of wrong, but um, you know kitai is a word which means expectation, but it's that's not what this is. It's something in okitai, but it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Um, the other good thing about this extension is that it's got some shortcuts. Uh, you can look in the software to find out what they are. The main one I use with this is you press C once you've got something highlighted, and uh, you won't be able to see it uh, on this view, but doing that has meant when you press C when it's um, this that box is up there it'll copy it to your clipboard right so then you can paste it that entry into your Anki um, which is another great program if you don't have it it's free um, it's a software to help you re revise words but you can put it or in whatever document you use like I use Google Docs mainly to do all my study um, just have lists of words and things so this is a good way to uh, when you're reading an article to keep track of the words you're reading and make sure that you copy and paste them perfectly. So let's have a read through this. I won't use uh, Rikai much, but it's just a, a good little tool that not a lot of people know about and it's very useful um, for reading Japanese. Anyway, so this is an article we got off Matcha, so it says, Nihon ikumai ni shite o kitai Nihon no abunai tokoro anzen na tokoro. Sekai no naka demo anzen na kuni toshite yumei na Nihon Shikashi.悪い人がいないわけではありません。日本の旅行より安全に楽しむ方法を紹介します。旅行前にしておきたい日本の安全。日本は安全の国として世界でも有名です。日本で10万人の中で殺人事件、人が人を殺す事件が起こる数はゼ
取られないように気をつけましょう。大阪は安全大阪の中央区大阪城とトンボリがある場所は犯罪の発生率が高いです。世界の他の大きい町と比べたら犯罪の発生率はとっても低いです。しかし旅行中には気をつけましょう。この場所で多い犯罪はひたくり歩いている人から物を取る人や自転車盗難、自転車を取ることです。大阪で有名な場所は梅田、難波です。そこは人が多いです。梅田やナンバーを夜一人で歩くときには気をつけてください。危ない人に会わないようにするために何をする賑やかな場所では。人が多い賑やかな場所の居酒屋やレストランの中にはとっても高いお金を払ってくださいという悪い店もあります。駅の前で店,、ね、店に来ませんかという人に簡単についていかないでください。人が多い場所で居酒屋やレストランに行くときは、行く前に本やインターネットなどで店について調べるか、近くの観光案内所へ行ってみましょう。また、細い道や駅から遠い場所などには行かないようにしましょう。家がたくさんある場所では。家がたくさんある場所でも犯罪は起きます。ひったくりなどの犯罪が起きるかもしれません。歩いている人が少ない道などはあんまり歩かない方がいいです。歩くときは、カバンは壁側に持つ、携帯電話はどこでも使うことができるようにしておきましょう。その他、混んでいる電車、イベントなどでは、すり、泥棒に気をつけてください。財布や大事なものはズボンのポケットではなくカバンに入れてカバンの前で持つのがいいでしょう日本ではパチンコをしてみたいという人もよくいますがパチンコやゲームを一生懸命やっている時は周りのことに気づきませんその時スリがあなたのカバンから財布を取ろうと思っているかもしれません気をつけてくださいタクシーや電車バスは安全日本のタクシーはメーターがついていますそして会社の名前が入っている車に乗れば大丈夫です。日本のタクシーは走った長さで値段が決まります。東京だったら場所で違いますが、ほとんどが初めの 1km までは一番高くて420円。その後は高くて 237m ごとに80円上がります。また、信号を待っている時間など、時間でも値段が上がります。電車、バス。日本の電車やバスはきれいで、時間通りに来てくれるし、安全だと思う人も多いです。しかし、朝の7時から9時の間はとっても混みます。その間は、地下もいるので気をつけてください。朝と夜、会社や学校へ行く人が多い時間は使わない方がいいです。そして、痴漢はドアの近くにいることが多いです。で、ドアの近くに立たないようにしましょう。交通ルールにも注意。日本は右側通行、道の右側を通ることです。自分の国と違う人は車に十分に気をつけてください。エスカレーターでは<笑>、エスカレーターは左側に並んで立つ人が多いです。大阪では右側に立ちます。変わりますね。人が立っていない方をとっても速く走って通る人もいます。エスカレーターに乗るときは前の人の後ろに並びましょう。困ったときはここへ。交番ですね。困ったときはこれから紹介する場所や人のところへ行きましょう。交番。交番とは警察の人がいる場所です。大体駅の前にあります。アルファベットで小判と書いてあります。物をなくしたとき、道がわからないとき、困ったときは交番へ行きましょう。電車や駅では駅員さんに聞く。駅で困ったとき、電車に物を忘れたとき、物をなくしたとき、電車を間違えたときは、駅の人に聞きましょう。コンビニ
店は明るくて人がいるので変な人にあったらコンビニへ入りましょうそして道がわからないとき店の人に聞いてもいいです電話をする急いで警察、消防車、救急車を電話で呼びたいときは、警察は110番、救急車は119番に電話をします。英語、中国語、韓国語、スペイン語、ポルトガル語なら、通訳の人がいて、3人が一緒に電話で話すことができます。安全に気をつけて、日本を。Let's go through this article and、um, just make some comments on some grammar points. And、uh, as always, I'm not going to cover everything in here, mainly just a, a lot of the grammar points. The vocab, of course, is best to look up in a dictionary and、uh, do those tips with Brikai Chan o Kun that I used、uh, that I talked about earlier. So, Nihon e i k u m a i ni, so before going to Japan, shite o kitai. I mean, this is really our TEF form and OKU. I've done a video on this. You can、uh, check it out. And it's just the Thai form of the OKU thing. So basically, it's what you kind of should know before you go to Japan. It's what you should, what they want,、uh, what they want you to know in, in advance before you go to Japan. Nihon no abunai. We're going to have this word quite a lot. This is dangerous. It's an E adjective. So Nihon no abunai. Tokoro. So dangerous places. Anzen na tokoro. And safe places.、Right. Now, this is a bit of a headline. So. You know, headlines, they don't really follow. There's kind of a few rules with、um, you can do things in ways in headlines you normally can't do. So you would, you know, they just kind of go to space here, but、um, I guess you would use a comma or something. But yeah, it's, they're just trying to make it a pithy sentence. But anyway, safe and dangerous place. All right, we have our patoka. I mean, this is not a real patoka, it's a matchbox or something, but、uh, you call it a, a police car, a patoka. And on the side here, we see this says K Shicho, which is like the police department. But we're going to hear this, not, hear this word so much at all in this article, actually. It's、uh, keisatsu, which they're going to say mainly, which is the police. All right. So, sekai no naka demo, so even amongst the world, anzen na kuni toshite, as a safe country, yumei na nihon. All right. So, you know, Japan is famous even amongst the kind of safe countries. And they're going to show some stats to back this up from the OECD. Shikashi, however, warui hito ga. いないわけではありません。Now, this わけではありません、a bit of a tricky JLPG grammar point.、Um, I think it's probably N3 or maybe N2. But it kind of means it doesn't. わけではありません is it doesn't necessarily mean that. That's kind of what it means. So it, it's saying it doesn't necessarily mean this. So, however, わるい人がいない。So there are not bad people. わけではありません。It doesn't necessarily mean that. All right? They, they still have crime in Japan. And bad people. So, Nihon no Ryoko, or Yori Anzen ni. Again, this Yori blah 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 ni is a bit of a advanced JLPT point, but it's like to have an even safer trip in Japan. This, this, and yeah, the, you know, Japan's a safe country, but you can do things to make it even safer. Tanoshimu ho ho, so the method for enjoying、uh, your trip. Or Shokai Shimas, I'm going to introduce it, as in the author will introduce it. Um, this says you can,、um, you can download、uh, someone reading off this article apparently, but it's o k a n e g a k a k a r i m a s it's going to cost money. Anyway, so you've got to kind of get it for free from me. Alright, so Ryoko Mai ni, before traveling, s h i t e o k i t a i from the headline, you know, what you should know. Nihon no anzen, the safety of Japan. Nihon wa anzen no k u n t o s h o s b u alright, so we already had that before. Nihon de, jumani no naka de, so amongst 100,000 people. Satsujin jiken, and this is a fancy word, well, it's the word to say a murder case. So, Satsujin is the murder, jiken is a case, like a police case. So, we see they've got a bit of a definition here.、Uh, Satsujin jiken is a hito ga hito o korosu jiken, a case where a person,、uh, well, a person kills another person. Ga o koru kazu wa, so as for the、uh, number of cases of Satsujin jiken among 100,000 people, Uh, we have 0.2, and this is a, basically a counter for people. You hear this in restaurants a lot. I say, Nan mei sama desu ka? How many people? And you go, Ni mei desu, san mei desu. Anyway, so it's 0.2 out of 100,000. And the OECD, you know, this thing.、Um, no kuni, all right, so the countries of the OECD, I think there's 40. Yeah, there's 40. 
の平均は、so as for the average of this number out of 100,000 people, 3.7 なので、Now, なので is basically だから、Alright, so because it's 3.7, 比べると、when you compare Japan to this、um, OECD average, とても低いです。Japan is very low, right? It's a very low rate,、uh, rate of murders, at least. そして、日本の殺人事件の数は、so as for these numbers, OECD の40の国の中で、so again, we've got this same grammar we just had up here, blah 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 の中で、blah blah blah の中で、so amongst the 40 countries of the OECD, 2番目に少ないです。Alright, so it's the second lowest, and I think Singapore is the first. ですから、so、because of this, 普通に街を見物しているときに、so when you're When you're kind of sightseeing normally around the city, I guess it just means like when you're walking around, just minding your own business and sightseeing. Ni abunai koto wa hotondo nai desho. So, hotondo nai means mostly not. All right, so they're kind of saying basically there's, there's very little chance of anything dangerous happening when you're just walking around. And then they add desho on the end, which is a, a way to kind of talk about certainty. So they're kind of saying they're pretty certain that there's a very low chance of anything bad happening to you. Shikashi, however, Hanzai, this is crime, and Jiko, this is an accident, it's like a traffic accident or something. Ya,、uh, Hanzai ya Jiko ga zero dewa arimasen. So, kind of,、uh, you know, this is written Japanese as an article, it's a bit stiff, a bit formal. You know, you wouldn't say dewa arimasen normally if you were speaking, you'd just say janai or janai des. But really, they're just saying zero janai des, all right? It's not zero. You know, you can, bad things can still happen to you in Japan. It's just very unlikely,、um, especially in terms of crime. I mean, accidents,、um, I mean, still don't happen very often, but it can still happen. Anyway, so, kono kiji dewa, so in this article, yori anzen ni hata before, nihon no ryoko o tanoshimu tame ni, so in order to,、um, for the, you know, tame ni, for the sake of, Uh, enjoying your trip in Japan even more safely, or at like the height of safety or something. Kyotsuke tehoshi. So the author is saying, tehoshi is when someone else wants something for you. So the author is saying, they want you to kyotsuke te, to take care、um, about things, or kakunin shimashou. So basically, they want you to check or confirm the things、uh, that you should be careful of. And they want you to do it. The author does. Nihon de abunai tokoro wa doko. So, where are the dangerous spots in Japan? Masu wa taksan no hito ga ryoko ni iku Tokyo, Osaka, Kyoto no chian. So, masu wa, firstly,、um, the places that lots of people go to on travel, including Tokyo, Osaka, Kyoto, no chian. Now, chian we see is abunai koto ga aru ka doka. Now, This kadoka or aru kadoka is whether or not something exists. So, abunai koto ga aru kadoka, so whether or not、uh, dangerous things exist or dangerous areas exist, places exist. Now, chian is just basically safety or public safety.、Um, ni tsuite,、uh, so about the, basically the public safety, uh, uh, about, about safety, sorry. s e t s u m e s h i m a s we're going to explain it. So, dono, ma,、uh, dono machi mo anzen desu ka? So, basically, all cities in Japan are safe. But, kichinto sh sh、uh, shiraberu to, so if you really kind of study it closely or look it up、um, carefully, Tokyo, Osaka, Kyoto no jun ni, so jun is an order, right? So, Tokyo is the first most dangerous, well, here they're saying it's got the most crime, the most amount of crime. Tokyo, then Osaka, then Kyoto. And to be honest, Kyoto is、um, a bit of a surprise. I know, I've know i never spent much time in Kyoto, but、um, it's a bit surprising to me. I would have thought there'd be other cities. But anyway,、um, Kyoto, I guess, is kind of a. <laughs> anyway, let's not talk about it. But anyway, so no jun ni, so in this order, Hanzai no kazu, so the number of crimes ga oi des. There's many. So we got Sanko. I think this is a bit of a mistake or something. I'm not really sure. But Sanko is a reference, okay? So they're, they're talking about data. So, Kesats Cho, alright, the, the police department. So, we have Todorf Ken Betke Ho Han. 
All right, so this is just kind of their, um, the police's data, right? So Tadolf again is how you refer to all the administrative areas of Japan. So it's the prefectures, uh, Tokyo, to Osaka, Fu, Kyoto, Fu, and Hokkaido. This is just some kind of compendium of all the, the crimes, the breakdown of crimes, really. All right, so Tokyo wa anzen. So is Tokyo safe? I already mentioned this is uh, Kabukicho, kind of an infamous part of uh, um, Tokyo. We have, but we have pretty normal signs here. Okonomiyaki. We have Izakaya. Yeah, this is definitely the infamous part of uh, Kabukicho, and we see here this is Rojo Kitsuen Kinchi. So no smoking on the street. Um, so Tokyo and a lot of the big cities in Japan have rules like this, where um, you're not allowed to do what's called aruki tabako, so you're not allowed to walk around and smoke. And I can't quite see it here, but there'll be designated smoking areas. And normally there's a map on this sign somewhere. I can't see if it is though. But yeah, I'll have a map saying, hey, the nearest smoking area is here, and it'll just be a, it'll just be basically it's a public ashtray, and you go and everyone stands there and smokes. Uh, but yeah, bit, most big cities in Japan have this now. All right, so Tokyo de Yume na Basho wa. So the famous places in Tokyo are Shinjuku, Shibuya, Roppongi. All right, um, they're all pretty famous. Shinjuku wa toku ni kabukicho no yona Shinjukeki kara. So in particular, the um, the Kabuki area, Kabuki, I don't really know, but the Kabukicho area of Shinjuku is um, in places like this, which are far from Shinjuku eki, Toei Basho wa. No chianga, so the safety of these places ga amari yoku arimasen. It's kind of a common thing in this article. They keep talking about once you get further away from the train stations, it seems uh, more dangerous. I'm not sure if I totally agree with that, but uh, I guess it's not a bad way to think about things. But there are plenty of dangerous places near a train station. Anyway, uh, so Shinjuku ku. All right, so ku is our ward. Uh, we don't really have these in Australia, but it's it's kind of like a district or a ward but it's kind of it's just an administrative area uh, i guess you could kind of think of it like a suburb here in australia but anyway it's, it's slightly different ku can be quite big but uh yeah anyway so shinjuku shibuya ku so shite ie ga oi sedagaya ku okay so uh ie ga oi so this is more like a residential area lots of housing uh ga nado ga so places like this ga hokano basho yori so more than other places Hanzai ga oi basho desu. It's a more crime. Hito ga taksan iru tokoro aruku toki ni wa. So in regards to when you're walking in a place with lots of people. Niji, this is basically our um, belongings, right? The stuff that we have on us, bags, stuff like that. Or mae ni motsu nado no. All right, so kind of put it in front of you. I mean, I, I think that this is kind of painting a... I mean, I don't think this is really super important, but... I mean, there is a problem with uh, pickpocketing and people, uh, they're going to mention it later, the hitakuri, but I don't know. I feel like you're making yourself a bigger target, especially if you put the backpack on the front of you, but whatever. Um, yeah, just kind of keep your awareness of your belongings. So, torare nai yoni. So, so it, make an effort so that it can't be stolen. Kiyosuke masho. Let's pay attention. Osaka wa anzen. So, it's Osaka safe. This is a very famous part. This is dotonbori. Um... Glico sign. You can go stand this bridge, take photos. It's, you see lo lots of people doing this. It's kind of a, it's funny. It's like a tourist spot, but lots of Japanese people go there as well. Uh, kind of a famous, famous place in Osaka for sure. So Osaka no Chuoku, which is where this sign is. Um, so we've got Osaka Jo, Osaka Castle, Dotonbori, the place I just mentioned. Ga aru basho wa Hanzai no Hasei Ritsu ga takai desu. Now Hasei Ritsu is like um, occurrences or happening but see this is why rikai chung is good so we turn it on highlight it all right and it tells us has said it's so frequency rate of occurrence whenever we see ritsu on the end of a word like that there's going to be some kind of rate or a ratio or something all right so yeah that's why uh, rikai is good you just kind of use it to check the word um and then you keep going the sekai no hoka no ooki machi to kurabetara so you know tara if you um, compare this to other big cities in the world. Hanzai no haseiritsu wa totemo hikyu desu. It's very low. Okay, so you're saying, you know, these are the more dangerous places in Japan, but comparatively, they're not really that dangerous. Shikashi, ryoko chu ni wa kiyosuke However, still take care. 
この場所で多い犯罪はひたくり。So this is what I mentioned before. This is the,、um, what they say here. 歩いてる人から物を取る人。Right? So the common one is you just,、um, uh, when someone's walking down the street, you just ride past them on like a scooter or a motorcycle or something and just grab their bag and then you zoom off again. It's kind of common, but you can just run past it and steal it.、Uh, this actually happened to me when I was、um, working.、Uh, the police came in and were like, Do you have any cameras? Someone just got, you know, someone is just ひたくり。I was like, nope, no cameras. But anyway, so it's kind of a common crime. Yeah, 自転車盗難 That's a fancy way just to say 自転車を取ることです盗難 is, is theft or robbery, right? So 自転車盗難 stealing bikes. t o t a l です right? Now they've got a kind of registration system for this in Japan. We've got to put a sticker on your、um, bike. So yeah, you've got to be careful about borrowing people's bikes because you can get done. But anyway, so. Osaka de, and when I say borrow, I do mean literally borrow, not、um, stealing. Obviously, don't steal. Osaka de, yume na basho wa umeda namba des. Right? These are the two big areas in Osaka, the famous places. Soku ni wa hito ga oida. There's lots of people there. I recommend both these places, they're quite fun. Umeda ya namba wo yoru hitori de aruku toki ni wa kyo tskete kudasai. So, hitori de aruku toki, so when you're walking by yourself at night, be、uh, careful. And then it says, usually, so let's read this together. So, this is a,、um, a separate article on their website talking about Umeda number and Shinsai Bashi. So, so, what should we do in order to not meet with dangerous people? So, Nigiyaka na basho de wa. So, Nigiyaka,、um, <laughs> this word that、uh, you know, comes up in a lot of textbooks, you don't see it that much, but Nigiyaka is a, a bustling area, like a busy area. And it's an adjective. So, nigiyaka no basho de wa. So, in busy areas, so all those areas they just mentioned, namba, umeda. So, hito ga oi nigiyaka no basho no izakaya. So, izakaya is a type of Japanese style pub, I guess, where you sit down, there's meals. Ya, restaurant no naka ni wa totemo takai o kane o harate kurasai to yu waru i mise mo arimas. Okay? So, I've never really experienced this, but. Yeah, there are plenty of、uh, places in Japan which will、um, try and scare you into paying lots of money. I mean, I don't really find this much with restaurants, but I mean, it's, it's, I've never had this problem.、Um, I just feel like these places are very easy to spot from the outside. Anyway, so yeah, they'll just kind of、um, threaten you and say, hey, you know, you've got to pay this much, this is what it costs, this is what you, you know, they'll charge you for just sitting down, stuff like that. So, yeah, you can be, be careful that. So, eki no mae de. So, in front of the station, mise ni kimasen ka. All right. And now, this is, you know, won't you come to our store? This is being banned, I think, in a lot of major areas. Particularly, I noticed it in Tokyo. So,、um, there are all these signs up. And there was even, like, I don't know if they were paid or not, but there were people standing around. Whose job it was to make sure that the shops didn't do this, right? Basically, didn't just grab people and pull them into the, the shop. All right, so it's obviously been a bit of a problem.、Um, but yeah, they're, they're, t- they're taking some pretty, um, pretty, uh, pretty uh, important measures to stop this. So I noticed that in Akihabara and stuff, there were all these people around、uh, making sure that no one was doing anything naughty. So, toyu hito ni kanta ni tsuite ikanai de kurasai. All right? So, don't just, you know, it, it's all well and people are gonna try and get you to come to their shop. I mean, it's, it's a good way to get a, a deal, by the way. You know, when people are just gonna try and give you a flyer or something and you look at it, and then、um, you can then,、uh, a little bit of a trick here, actually. I don't know if I'm supposed to talk about this kind of stuff, but basically, you get the flyer, right? And it'll have some deal. So, it'll be like, you know, all you can eat for whatever, how much money. And then you take that flyer to someone else. And you go, hey, this shop is offering this. What can you do? And then they'll call the shop because they're not outside, right? And they're outside and they'll say,、um, yeah, sure, okay, we'll beat it. Right? And then you can go in there. So you can get some pretty good deals like that.、Um, and then they'll take you there. So that's fine.、Um, I mean, that's voluntary, of course. But、um, yeah, obviously, if. People aren't allowed to grab you or touch you and pull you in somewhere. <laughs> so if that happens, just, just get out. I mean, because that's illegal. All right, so yeah, kanta ni tsuite ikanai de kurasai. So don't just follow people wherever, right? I mean, 
try and find a, a, a you know it's it's I don't really think it's, it's this hard to avoid these issues um, as long as you're aware that this happens and don't just think that Japan is all fun and safe and then nothing bad will ever happen to you you know just take some <laughs> basic care all right so hito ga oi basho de so places with lots of people izakaya ya restaurant ni iku toki wa iku mae ni so before you go to these places hon ya internet o nado de mise ni tsuite shiraberu ka so look them up on the internet chikaku no kanko anai jo so a information place e itte mimashou all right and the information places will be open um uh, late sometimes, and so yeah, just go ask about it. Um, Alright, so mata hosoi michi ya eki kara toi basho nado ni wa ikanai yo ni shimashou. Alright, so hosoi michi, kind of like narrow roads, you know, alleyways basically. Eki kara toi basho, I've already mentioned this, far away from the station. Uh, ikanai yo ni, so basically don't go. Ie ga taksan aru basho de wa, so basically the more residential place style, style areas. So, ie ga taksan aru basho demo hanzai wa okimasu. Right, so crime still occur, of course, in these areas. Hitakuri, so the back stealing. Hanzai ga okiru kamo shiremasen. So, you might have this crime. Aruite iru hito ga tsukunai michi nado. So, places where there are not many people walking around. Amari arukanai ho ga iidas. Right, so just kind of avoid these areas. Um, yeah, I mean, it's good advice. Aruku toki wa kaban wa Kabe gawa. Now, kabe is the wall, right? And gawa is the side of something. So, kabe gawa is the side of the wall. So, you, if you're walking down the footpath, right, you would have the road side and the wall side. Okay, so they're kind of saying keep it, keep your bag on the the wall side because the hitakuri is going to be coming on your on the road side, basically. So it just makes it a bit harder for them to do it. So, keitai demo wa doko demo tsukau koto ga dekiru yoni. Okay, so your phone can be easily accessed, right? Probably not a problem for many people anymore. Um, but yeah, you want to have your phone in a pocket or something or in your hand so you can use it really quickly. Um, kind of thing. So, doko demo, any, anywhere. Shite okimashou. So, basically, make sure that you're going to do that, right? Have the phone ready to, to go. But again, I don't think it's really that big of an issue. So, no car. So, apart from that, Kondeiru Densha, so trains are busy, Ibento, so busy events like a music festival or, you know, even just a matsuri or something, some kind of gyoji, where there's just lots of people around, you know, this happens a lot in, I mean, pretty much everywhere you go in to Tokyo and Osaka, there are lots of people, so, but yeah, um, nado de wa, so at these kind of situations, suri, now suri is, um, uh, it's a pickpocket, I think, technically, but they're just saying dorobo, which is a, a robber, right, a, a thief. So, suri ni kyo tsukete kurasai, all right, because, you know, obviously all the people and then the suri. Uh, again, I've never really seen this happen, but it definitely does happen in Japan. Uh, saifu ya daiji na mono wa zubon no pocket de wa naku kaba ni irete. All right, so, yeah, put your saifu, your wallet, in your or your purse, uh, or other important things like your passport, maybe, um, in your, don't put them in your pants pockets, put them in your bag. Um, kaba mo mae de motsu no ga irisho, right? So again, put the, the backpack on the front. Again, I don't really think, I think that's a little bit overkill in Japan, to be honest, but. Uh, Nihon de wa pachinko shite mitai, right? So shite miru, and it's so sh where this comes from, shite mitai, you want to do something. So pachinko is the, the game, and a lot of people want to do it. So hito mo yoku imasu ka, so a lot of people say that they want to do this, and this is talking about tourists. But pachinko ya game wo isho keme yatteru toki, right? So when you're playing these games, and when they say games, um, you know, it could be games zenta, right? Like kind of what we call time zone in Australia, but, um, you know, big multi-level arcades with computer games and stuff in them and arcade machines. Uh, they also can be referring to mahjong, which is, uh, we we'll call it, well, it's kind of like mahjong in um, English, but it's basically... Uh, you're using these tiles, and it's kind of like poker, I guess. It's kind of like a card game, but using tiles. Um, but people bet money on that. And there's also shogi as well, which is a type of Japanese chess. And there's all these types of, especially majan. there's lots of places like this where you can go and play these games. And they can get pretty intense, and, you know, money can be on the line. Um, and so this, this is what this isho keme ya deru toki, right? Because you're really engrossed in the game and concentrating on the game, and then that's the perfect time for someone to steal your stuff. Um, I don't know. Again... 
Uh, I don't know if this is as big a problem as they say, but it could happen. So, mawari no koto, so your kind of surroundings, kiyotsuke masen. Kiyotsukimasen, so you don't notice your surroundings because you're um, paying attention to the game. その時、すりがなつのカバンから財布を取ろうと思っているかもしれません。Right? So that the thief is going to see that that's a good time to get in it. So, 取ろうと思っている。So they're thinking that they're going to attempt to try and take your wallet. かもしれません。Maybe. 気をつけてください。Please be careful. タクシーは電車バスは安全。So taxis, trains and buses safe. The short answer is yes. So here we see a taxi and we see it says 日本コツタクシーアプリで You're better, I think that's it. So call it with the, you can call it with the app.、Um, anyway, so. But yeah, taxis are obviously. They're all, they're all these cars, I think. They're all the Toyota Crowns, whatever they are.、Um, anyway, taxis are pretty good. They're quite cheap. So, taxi, Nihon no taxi wa. Meta. Gatsu i t e m a s So they have meters, okay? It's, it's, it's all out in the open. So, this is what they're talking about. Kaisha no mai. This on the side. So, if you get on a car with the, you know, the name of the company on the side of it, I don't have a lot of. I'm not sure if I've even ever caught Uber in, in Japan, but generally taxis are, are really, really good. So, I just use taxis all the time. They're quite cheap. So, Nihon no taxi wa hashita nagasa. So, hashita means to run, but when you're talking about vehicles, it's driving. So, hashita nagasa de, and nagasa comes from nagai, which is. Long and nagasa is length. So, shita nagasa, the length that you drove, ne dan ga kimarimasu. So, it's decided by, the price is decided by the, the length that you've driven. Tokyo da t a r a so there's slightly different rules in, in、um, uh, Tokyo, but basho de chigai masu ka, so it's different. According to the place, but hotondo ga hajime no ichi kilometer made wa. So, up until the first kilometer, The highest you'll get is 420 yen, which is pretty cheap, like $4, $5. So, and then, so per 237 meter blocks, it goes up by 80 yen. So, you know, it's pretty cheap.、Um, one thing about taxi drivers, I was talking to one、uh, who, I, who was driving me around Tokyo, <clears throat> and I asked him,、uh, What's it like being a taxi driver? In Tokyo, basically. And he, because I said, isn't it kind of hard, you know, with the traffic and the roads and finding buildings and all that kind of stuff? And、uh, he said, well, you know, because he was about 60 years old, maybe. And he said, well, I was born here. I grew up here. You know, th- this is my city. I know it pretty well. And、uh, he said, the difference with being a taxi driver in Tokyo is that you can,、um, you can make a living off it, you can just do it full time. He said it's pretty rare in any other city in Japan that you could do that, even Osaka. So you have to find some other second job. But he said, I make a, a full time living off being a t e x t driver. So I thought that was kind of cool. Alright. Mata shingo matteru jikan nado. So the time spent waiting at the traffic lights. Jikan demo, just the time of the journey. Nedan ga agarimasu. Ah, sorry, no, this would be the time, the time of the journey, I should have said. So the time at which you, you know, there'll be like night charges and all that kind of stuff. I、uh, remember, yeah, in Tokyo that, that, that definitely was. There was an extra charge at night, but it wasn't that much. Alright, l so just read this as well. So, Nihon no taxi no nikato do bani na apri o shokai shimasu. Alright, l so there's more detail about taxis. Densha basu, so trains and buses, really good,、uh, especially the trains, of course. Nihon no densha basu wa kirei de, so they're, they're clean. Jikan dori ni kite kureru shi, alright, l so they come on time, and that's especially true with the Shinkansen. Anzen da to omo hito mo oidas, right? So, a lot of people think they're safe, and that's true. I mean, I've,、um, I've never really had a problem on the trains at all. I mean, you see people falling asleep on the trains all the time.、Um, and if you lose something on a train, you're almost certainly going to get it back. So, it's, it's a pretty good system. Shikashi, asa no shichiji kara kuji no aida wa, so between 7 and 9 in the morning, totemo komimasu. And this is particularly true in Tokyo and Osaka. It's just insane how many people there are. Now, there's that whole thing of like getting people pushed into the train by the train guards. I've kind of seen it happen a little bit. It's,、um, it's not quite as common as you'd think, and it would really only happen during these times in the morning. But、uh, I know that、um, Tokyo, in particular, in preparation for the Summer Olympics, 
They are trying to stagger people's work hours in the morning, getting people to start earlier or start later, because this rush in the morning is just, it's just crazy. So yeah, Osaka also has a similar problem, but yeah, not quite as bad. Anyway. So, sono aida wa, so during that time, we have this word chikan, which is a, yeah, they said pervert, basically someone who fills up people on trains, molester, more iru no de, so this is where they like to, they like to be on the train at this time, because it's busy and you can, I guess, get away with touching people uh, a bit easier. So, kyotsu kete kurasai, please uh, be careful. Um, yeah, it's not, again, it's, I think it's a little bit of an overblown problem, but it definitely does happen. Um, but, uh, yeah, there are a lot more cameras on trains now, so yeah, if this ever does happen, of course. I mean, I doubt it would ever happen to a non-Japanese person, to be honest, but, um, yeah, I mean, uh, you should be able to catch people like this. But then it says, Asato yoru kaisha yo gakko ikuhito ga oi jikan wa tsukawanai hou ga ii right? I definitely agree with that. So, mornings and nights, when, um, when there's basically lots of people going to school or work, um, basically don't, it's probably better not to use it. I would agree with that. Like, uh, yeah, I would just not go on the train at that time, especially in Tokyo. So the perverts like to stand near the door. I guess they can make an easy escape. So Okay. Again, I probably, I mean, if you're maybe for female, you should do this, but uh, generally it's probably not, doesn't happen as much as people think. So, I read with these. So, Nihon no Densho, Shitokitai Koto, Densho no Toki no Mana, Toki no Onji. Whoa, 16 manners. Anyway, so just a bit more detail on the trains. Kotsu ruru ni mo chui, so be careful of the road rules. Nihon wa migi ga wa tsuko, right? So, they drive on the left side. Wait. Michi no migi ga wa? No, they haven't. Isn't it Hidari Gawa Tsuko? Am I going crazy? Alright, I, <laughs> I, I just looked on Wikipedia. I think this is a mistake. I mean, unless Migi Gawa Tsuko means the, the opposite, but Japan is not. They drive on the left. Same as Australia. Uh, it's one of the few countries that do. Even though they don't have the bridge passed. That's kind of funny. That's a mistake. Anyway, it's it should be Hidari Gawa. Nihon wa Hidari Gawa Tsuko. Atomo. Anyway, uh, I think that's wrong. So they, they don't drive on the right side, they drive on the left. I mean, the, the driver's. Anyway, it's a right hand drive car, but they don't drive on the right, they drive on the left. I think that's just a mistake. Anyway, if you if you guys know, if you guys are you know, let me know. But I'm pretty certain that this is a mistake. Anyway, so they drive. It says they drive on the right, but I'm pretty sure I know that they drive on the left. no kuni to chigao hito wa. So if you're, it's different in your country. So if you got you know, if you're Korea or something, you know they drive on the right. Kuruma ni jubu ni kyosukete kurasai. All right. So just be careful. It's very um, easy to forget about this. But um, yeah, it's. Um, look, look the correct way. Look both ways. So, escalator dewa. Alright, so this is kind of a funny thing about Japan. They have some rules about the escalators. So, escalator wa hidari gawa ni narande tatsu hito ga oidas, right? So, most people line up on the left and you leave the right side open. And I'll talk about that later. And notice they say, Osaka dewa migi gawa ni tachimas, right? So, you stand on the right in Osaka. Um, kind of a bit of a strange thing. They, they, they swap. All right, so they stand on the right and they leave the left side open. So, hito ga tatte nai ho wo tottemo hayaku hashite toru hito mo imasu, okay? So, in, because everyone's standing on the left or the right, if it's in Osaka, you've got a whole, like, aisle which is open, so you people can run up and down the escalators if they're in a hurry. Um, so, escalator ni noru toki wa mai no hito no usho ni ta nabi masho. All right, so basically just follow what, whoever's in front of you, just stand behind them. All right, then you know you're on the right side or left side or however it may be. Um, I've noticed now that with the, they actually say not to do this anymore. There's signs all over escalators in Japan saying don't run, um, because you know, if you fall on the escalator, it can be pretty bad. Um, and it doesn't really save that much time. So now they, uh, they don't really, uh, encourage. So it's kind of like, well, if they're not gonna, you know, they don't want you to run, but I guess you can walk quickly up the empty aisle. Anyway, so komatta 
toki wa kokue. All right, so if you're in trouble, so here we've got a korban. This is a um, police box, very common sight in Japan, and definitely uh, very good if you're lost. Um, they've, they've normally got inside, they'll have police officers, and they'll have a very detailed local map. So you all the shops, every, everything you could ever want is probably going to be on that map. So don't hesitate, just go in here and ask them uh, if you need a hand. They're very, very good. Help me a lot of times. So komata toki wa, so when you're um, in trouble, kore kara shoukai suru basho ya hito to kore ikimashou. So you go to these um, places that we're going to introduce people in place that we're going to introduce now. Koban, so this is our police box. Um, Koban to wa keisatsu no hito, so the police ka iru basho desu. They're there. Now, of course, they're still police stations, but... There's much, there's way more korbans um, than police stations. Daitai eki no mae ni arimasu. This is pretty true, but they can be just kind of randomly around the spot. But that's a good place to start looking if you need to find it. And you know, most, you know, most Japanese people are going to know where the nearest korban is. So you just go, um, you know, ichimachi kaku no korban wa doko desu ka? And they'll take you there. So alphabet de korban. Tokai temas. Yep, this is very common. Um, obviously, <laughs> it's not very useful to not write it in, uh, to write it in kanji if you can't read kanji. Uh, and notice we have kaite arimasu, so it is written on the korban. Mono nakushita toki, when you lose something. Michi ga wakaranai toki, when you're lost on the road. Komata toki wa, when you're just in trouble. Korban e ikimashou, let's go to the korban. Densha ya eki dewa, eki Alright, so when you're on the train or in the station, ask the station, station staff. Again, very helpful, I always do this, because the uh, trains are big. <laughs> can be a bit confusing sometimes in Japan, to ask the staff. So when you're in trouble at the station, if you've lost something at the station, so if you yeah if you've forgotten something at the station, oh so if you've forgotten something on the train, if you've lost something, if you've made a mistake with your train, just ask them. Okay, they're very very helpful and they they know, you know they they answer these questions all day. They know all the train lines, all the destinations. They'll be able to work out where you want to go and how to get there the quickest. Mise wa akurukute to no dera. So this is our konbini, right? It's our convenience stores. Generally open twenty four hours, um, so they're very um, good. To go into so you know the shop the shops are bright and they're always going to have staff in them so so if you meet some kind of weird or strange person so basically go on the konbini to kind of escape them uh, you can go talk to staff and go hey there's some uh, weird person following me or whatever and they'll, they'll call the police uh, again i've never really had this problem but it's definitely a, a solution there's lots of konbinis in japan so it's a nice um kind of comforting place to go and they got food and food and stuff and normally ATMs, all kinds of stuff. Bins, a bit hard to find bins in Japan sometimes. So yeah, konbini is a great place to go if you need something. So michi ga wa karanai toki. So when you're lost, mise no hito ni kite mo ii desu. I've done this as well a lot of times. Um, again, the the people who work in the konbini are going to kind of know the general area pretty well, and they'll have a map. They'll generally have maps. That, that um yep. So they, they've showed me. I I was lost a few times and I couldn't find the korban, so I went to the konbini, and it was it's pretty much the same thing. Uh, well sudo. All right. So when, when you um making a phone call, so isoi de keisatsu. So quickly or in a rush, keisatsu. So police, shoubosha, obviously uh, the fire truck, fire service, kyukyusha, the ambulance, or denwa de yobitai toki wa. So when you want to call these people or services on the phone, keisatsu wa hyaku toban. All right. So one one zero, and uh, kyukyusha wa hyaku juku ban. All right. So it's Opposite of 911. I mean, that doesn't really help me too much because in Australia our number is triple zero. But anyway, those are the two numbers. Ni denwa o shimasu. So that's how you can call them. So, ego, so we've got the languages Korean, Spanish, Portuguese, nara, tsuyaku no hito ga ite. Alright, so you can kind of request a translator and then you, they'll put you on a three way conference call. So, with the, the person, the dispatcher, you, and the translator. I haven't done this before, but I know it's possible. So, ishō ni denwa de hanosu koto ga dekimasu, right? So you can just talk with them if you're not confident with your Japanese. Anzen ni kyō tsukete, so you know, take care of your safety, be careful of your safety. Nihon no tanoshimi mashou. Let's enjoy Japan. All right, I thought that was a pretty good article, uh, actually. Um, good, good grammar in here. This is this, like I said, this NH, um, NHK. This much are easy uh, articles. There's heaps and heaps of them. I've done some of them on this channel before. And they're great for sentence mining. Lots of great vocab in here. Lots of good grammar. So if you're looking at N5, N4, um, maybe N3, but I think N3 is a bit, level of N3 is a bit too high for articles like this. You'd have to start reading the normal articles on this website. But either way, um, it's, uh, 
it's good it's good stuff good stuff to practice so definitely have a look well guys so that's about about it from me i hope this video was uh, good and i hope you'll uh i'm really just using this video to introduce rikai chan rikai kun uh, good good extensions to really help with your reading and if you found that this video was useful uh, please leave a like leave a comment give me a subscribe it's all free with a google account or any other youtube account you have and uh, if you want to see something in particular, there's a grammar point or there's something you'd like to know about the Japanese language, uh, please leave a comment detailing what you want and I'll do my best to make it happen. All right, thanks again for watching, guys. Bye-bye.